Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night tonight. Tonight I want to take a look at Gmail and more specifically how to make your Gmail look a little bit more like Outlook. This is a question I get quite a bit uh, from people when they're making the switch over from Outlook to Gmail uh, and they're just not quite comfortable with the default Gmail look. So let's look at these three tips I'm going to show you tonight on how to make Gmail look a little bit more like Outlook. The first tip I usually show people in getting that Outlook feel is Preview Pane. Now Preview Pane is in the lab that you have to enable and let me show you how to do that. So just go ahead up and uh, over to your settings up here. Go ahead and click on it and then click on this settings here. So once I click on settings you'll go across the top until you find something called labs like this. And then what we're looking for is a lab called uh, Preview Pane. So what these labs do is they're kind of in an experimental stage. They're not added to the default uh, part of your Gmail, but any of these ones, go through and play with them to see the different ones that are available for you. Uh, so I'm just looking for one called Preview Pane here. And it should be just as I scroll down here. It, here it is right here, Preview Pane. So I'm just going to go ahead and enable this here. And then I have to make sure I hit Save My Changes. And there's a Save Changes here at the bottom or there's one at the top. So after I hit the Save Changes, it brings me back to my email. Doesn't look like anything changed yet. But what, had, what has happened is I have a brand new uh, thing up at the top here that I can toggle through different views. So I could click this to toggle. But what I'm going to do is just here is to drop down to show you your options here. Right now I'm in a no split view. Uh, the vertical the vertical split is like what I'd see in more Outlook. So if I click on a message, it shows uh, to my right like so. Uh, I could also uh, do a horizontal split if you wanted one uh, down below like this. So preview pane, just go make sure you go ahead and enable it in your labs. We're going to go back to labs again for the second tip and that's putting in a Google Calendar. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and put go back to my vertical split. This is the one I like the best. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my lab right now I go to settings and back to labs and this time I'm just gonna scroll down and I want to find uh, one called the Google Calendar gadget you can see it's right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enable on this and hit my save changes again here and this time what you'll notice is a calendar on the left hand side you're gonna have an option here uh, that pops up right here so it loads up in this default uh, view uh, right now I don't have any events coming up on this uh, on this calendar uh, you can also add an event so if I quickly add you can quick add through here or you can edit the details you have options here that you can show the mini, mini calendar and this is usually one I show uh, I like to see that uh, where I am in the uh, month and just to get the uh, quick look where the days are you can also adjust this too just by uh, if I grab this you can uh, grab this and move this around depending on how many labels you want to see so you can adjust it whatever suits uh, suits you best so that's adding the Google Calendar gadget to your Gmail uh, to make it look like uh, the Outlook one the calendar that they have there also the last tip I want to show you tonight is in the conversation view. So I, if I go ahead and click on this conversation view, uh, a lot of people aren't used to this style here where you can see it looks like multiple messages coming through. They're used to just seeing one message in here and this, uh, if you're not used to this, can cause some confusion. But you can turn this off. So if I go ahead over back to my settings again, and uh, this time I'm just going to look for a conversation view under the general here. So I'm just going to scroll down. You can see a conversation view is on. I'm just going to click conversation view off here. Again, like any of the other ones, you have to save your changes after. And so I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here. Hit save changes. Now at this time, if I go back and click on this, you notice now that it's all open once. I don't have these separate messages coming. Uh, you can just see the conversation like you might be more used to in Outlook or other email clients like this. But you can go back with any of these labs or this conversation view. Just go back and enable or disable if you don't like them or you want them uh, to put back to original. So I hope you like these three tips on how to get your Gmail looking a little bit more like out, uh, out like an Outlook. If you have please give it a thumbs up, share it with a few people here. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.